I think we're in the war because we want something. I'm not really sure what it is, but we sure do want something. I think we should be there. I mean, America is the best country in the world, and and I don't care for Muslims, I guess. I'm an asshole. I'm against politics. I live in my own bubble. I'm against the war. Maybe it was wrong to go in, but now that we're already in and we've done all the damage, we can't just pull out like everyone's saying. Let's um, find nuclear weapons, and then all of a sudden let's free the Iraqis, you know, so it's... And like, what was, why, what's the point of lying? You know, if you're just going to go free um, people, then just say so. End it now and have Iraq deal with their own problems. There's no justification. We're just kind of thrown in there. And uh, we're at the mercy. There. And uh, we're at the mercy of leaders that don't know what they're doing. I do not know anything about the war. It's not pointless, but it's lingering too long. Like most people would say, because of oil, and I'm really not informed enough to say that, but that would be my opinion if I had to say one. We're not told the real reason why we're there. What are we fighting? The war is terrible. I've seen numerous Marines die. It's like a whole nother world over there. Hello, my name is Corporal Samuel F. Padron. I'm in the United States Marine Corps. I've been in for uh, three years. I've done, my first one was nine months, my second appointment was seven months, so I've done 16 months total in Iraq. My name is Don Jordan. Uh, I was with uh, Fox Company 2-1 on Camp Pendleton. I'm 22 years old, uh, done two combat tours. Our first tour was in southern Iraq, second tour was in uh, the middle of Iraq. My name is Sergeant Jesse Carrico. I was with uh, Weapons Company 1481's platoon. I came in in 1993 and went uh, to 98. I went to Somalia in that time. Then I got out for four years and I came back in um, September 1st, 2001 and I re-enlisted out in a Joff and I'm still in. I'm Zach Johnson. I was a corporal in 1st Battalion, 4th Marines during Operation Iraqi Freedom. I was there from March of 2003 until August of 2003. Family was real supportive uh, for me joining the military. My uh, dad retired in the Army. My mom was totally against it. She was like, nah, you're not going over there, and I don't, no, I'm not signing the papers. I told her, I was like, mom, nothing's going to happen. I was like, if you don't sign the papers now, I'll wait till I turn 18, and I'll sign them myself. Uh, my, dad's in, my dad was in the Army and fought in Vietnam. My grandpa was a Marine. My grandmother was a Marine, and they both fought in World War II. My great uncle was a Marine. And there's a lot of Marines in my family. I really have a lot of direction after high school, you know, and I'd, uh, I don't know, really it was something I wanted to prove to myself and, you know, just to see if I could do it. I mean, the prospects of actually going to war seemed pretty remote way back then when I signed up in uh, 2000. I kind of needed a way out. Um, where I was living at wasn't too good. All the friends I had, um, two of them had just, like, went to jail. One of them actually got killed in the drive-by. I sat there and I thought one day, and I was just like, you know, if I don't get out of here, uh, one of these days, I'm going to end up just like them, and I'm just like, there's no way that's going to happen. You know, just to go out there and say you fought for your country makes you feel more of an American than most people. This is not happening. He's like, yep, we're going to war. You're going to be gone within the next year and a half. I was just like, this sucks. The only thing I thought I was just like, my mom is going to kill me. <laughs> I was like, because I told her, I was like, nothing's going to happen. Everything's going to be fine. My first day of boot camp, September 11, 2001. I just kind of figured I'd be like the guys who came before me who did their four years and never really did anything. You know, there's a certain desire to go do that, but it didn't really seem like it was going to happen. It didn't really actually sink in until... We cross the border, you know, and you go across that fence line, and you realize, like, holy cow. Go across that fence line, and you realize, like, holy cow, I'm in Iraq, and definitely wasn't invited in here. And 
that was uh, I don't know, a kind of surreal moment, I guess. We're there to stabilize the country and I guess be the police since our police can't do it. Tell the truth, I think we're fighting for oil. Just to be truthful. Money, because the economy sucks and we just need to you know, be over somebody. So. When everybody did believe, you know, there's these weapons of mass destruction, and I really think there are some, like probably buried in the Syrian desert or something, you know, that he possibly moved them out, or maybe there never were. But The political aspect is not my specialty. Uh, I mean, for us, I think we're even more out of the loop than most people. I mean, whether or not we had the right reasons to invade Iraq, I don't know. But I look at it as like maybe it was the right thing to do, but you know, maybe for the wrong reasons.